I run a vote last night with my community and I was asking what standalone emulator she wants to see. So consoles is clearly a big winner here. So I'm looking at Sega Saturn today and the last time I did a Sega Saturn was around a month ago. So I thought it's quite popular, let's do another one. And I found you the most easiest, and I'm seriously being honest here, easiest emulator around for Sega Saturn emulation on Windows. So this is SFF and I'm going to leave a link in my description. The one you're going to download here is what I'm going to download. This is the latest release, which was released back in February 2022, and it works perfectly. So let's just download this, and it's going to download into a zipped format file. So just drag this onto the desktop, and if I just double left click on this to open it, and we've got a folder inside, so let's just drag that onto our desktop, close this down, and we can delete this zip file now we no longer need this one. So let's take a look what's inside the SFF folder, what we just extracted. So we've got lots of different files in there, mainly .exes, but the one we're looking for is the SFF.exe. So double left click on that. And if you get a Windows protected your PC window pop-up, especially if you're running Windows 11, it doesn't contain any viruses, it's a trusted emulator and of course a trusted source so this is it this is sff and it really is that simple to open uh, the good thing with this one is you don't need any bios files so let's just open up a game i've got my old sega saturn game here converted into chd and i've left a link in my description whilst i'm talking about chds i've left a link in my description to convert .bin and .q files into CHD. And trust me, .chds, they're just easier and they save more space rather than .bin and .q files everywhere. So let's open up my Alien Trilogy game. So I'm gonna to go to File. If I go to Load CD Image, and it's on my desktop, as we can see just there, Alien Trilogy .chd. So I'm gonna just highlight that and press Open. And this will boot us straight in. It really is that simple. So my controller isn't working on SSF, but this is really simple to fix. If we go to option and option again, controller. Now player one, A, and you've got some options here at what type of controller you want to emulate. So obviously Alien is just gonna be a standard control pad. If I go to redefine, and that's it, input for up, up, down, left, right, A, B, C, X. And you get the picture. It really is that simple, like I said at the beginning of my video. So once you've done that, let's just press OK. And there we go, we now have a working controller. Let's make this full screen, so I'm gonna press F12 to do this on my keyboard. And as we can see, it's in a four by three ratio, which is typical of that generation of games. So a little while back, like I was saying, the last time I did a Saturn emulator standalone was about a month ago, month and a half ago, and that was Sanshiro. Uh, Sanshiro is a great emulator, but it's not as, Easy is this one, as you can see, there's no messing around with BIOS files, but that's not to say you won't need them at some point. But I'm going to show you in a minute how to install your BIOS files. And I'm also going to show you how to set up this in widescreen 16x9. So if I press F12 again to exit full screen back into window mode. So at some point you might need BIOS file for certain games. Uh, you might find something doesn't boot up. So if we just go to option, option again, and first you'll see under peripheral is Saturn BIOS and also STV BIOS. So it's just a simple case of looking for our BIOS file by pressing browse, and then just simply highlighting your BIOS file. Let's just say for example, Alien Trilogy is my BIOS file, which it isn't, but this is an example. I'm just gonna left click on it, highlight it, and then press open. 
and that will then install our BIOS while we're rather put it into the right directory where SSF can find it. And like I was saying, SSF can also allow you to give you a different screen image. So if we go back to option, option again, and screen. Now you've got different options here. We got a scan line option. And like I was saying a minute ago, SSF also has a widescreen option, which you can find under screen. And then just check widescreen 16 by 9. And whilst we're here, we can also check VSync full screen. Uh, so VSync is going to reduce screen tear. And for a smoother experience, make sure by leaving your filter in is also checked. That might clear up some jagged edges and give you a slight bouncier image when you're playing. So again, save to SF Inny. And I'm going to press F12. So this is what I was playing in the mid 90s. Uh, this was pretty badass at the time, Alien Trilogy. <laughs> I spent many days playing this one and it's a, yeah, it's a decent game. It's just a shame about Resurrection, which yeah, wasn't too great. This is the 16 by nine widescreen image with V-Sync enabled. So yeah, it looks pixelated, but you know, some of you out there might like that traditional or original look, that pixelated 32 bit look of the 90s. So uh, yeah, if you've not played Alien Trilogy, I seriously recommend this one. Maybe it's a bit, well, bad nowadays. It looks old, but it's probably just a nostalgia thing for me. But yeah, I love I love Alien Trilogy. It's a great game. And it needs a remaster or a reboot since we're living in that era of reboots and remasters. So F12 to exit this full screen. And something else you can do with this is that games will save just like they would to a memory card on the Sega Saturn. But if you want to save this in a hurry, you can easily do this by going to File. And if you go to State Save, we can see here it says Select Save Number at 0 to 9. So I'm going to just type in 0. And that's saved it as File 0. So I'm going to play this a little bit longer. I'm going to go back outside. And to load that back up, I'm going to go back to File, State Load, and it's asking us for the number. So I'm obviously going to type in 0, and there we go, it's taking us back to that 0 save state. So anyway, that's it for Sega Saturn emulation through SSF. As you can see, it's a very, very easy and a very decent emulator for Sega Saturn games. So if you've not yet liked and subscribed, please like and subscribe and always hit notifications so you can get my content as I upload it. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. So be sure to follow me on those. I'm always updating them with my new content I upload onto this YouTube channel. But until next time, stay retro.